Aren't they so freaking cute though? <laughs> like they cute though, they cute. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kilani. If it is your first time on this channel, bienvenidos, welcome to my channel. If you guys are a long time subscriber, thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel. And actually welcome to all of my subscribers because I've gotten you know, a few of you guys subscribed since my last video, which was the declutter video. You guys really enjoyed that video. So I will for sure um, make a note of that and make more videos like that. But for today, I will be reviewing a foundation. This is like one of my favorite type of videos because if you guys know me, I mean, me encanta. I love complexion products. So I'm just really excited about this one. This is the new Pure Cosmetics Foundation. And yes, the title down below, it's, it's right. It is 100 shade, you guys. Why do I have glitter on my face? Bravo Pure, you guys did that. I was so proud and I was so excited when I received this in PR. Um, I know it's been out for like a couple weeks now and I'm a little late, but your girl took kind of like took a break from social media because social media can be toxic sometimes. So yeah, um, but I'm excited to be back. I'm back and ready, period, which is Thursday. I am so excited to try this out, you guys. This is the Pure Cosmetics Love Your Selfie Foundation. It is like a four in one. I'm just really excited. Um, so I'm just gonna like go ahead and like jump right into it. I'm gonna show you guys what they sent over to me. They sent this cute little package that says Pure. Can you guys see that? It says Pure over here. And I open it up and we have the this is so pretty you guys i love complexion products so i'm just really excited about this we have they sent over like three foundations and then i'm not sure if these are like concealers or if they are uh like little shades of the foundation um i don't know i think they are little little like samples of the foundation just in case like this don't match me or something like i can find my match kind of like in the medium range but i'm just really excited i really hope that i can like find my match in one of those that's like the big bottles but let's swatch them up and let's show you guys let me show you guys uh what's really cool about this foundation is that they can also be used as concealer so i'm forced i'm going to be using this for concealers and contour today we're gonna get so excited I just wanted to show you guys this little like pamphlet that they sent inside of the um, PR package. Like they did not play. Like they came out like, bitch, we here. Like you're gonna hear about us. It is 100 shades. Look at this. Bam. Wait. Bam. Bam. Like, okay. I'm living. I really am. The three bottles, like the big bottles that they sent over, we have TN3, TN4, and TN5. So I'm going to go ahead and like swatch them, like all three of them, just to see like if I can find my shade. And just for like shade reference, I know you guys love that. So, okay, so I already kind of like messed up with the swatches, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'm the worst. But up here we have TN3. We have TN4 right here, and then we have TN5 right here. Honestly, you guys, I can work with all three of them. Not even gonna lie. This has a little bit like the middle one, the TN4 has a little bit more yellow golden. This is a little bit more on the pinkish side, but honestly, I can work with all three of the shades. And I am so excited because I will probably, um, leave the one at the bottom for like my summer shade because my face and my hand don't really match so i will probably go with tn3 and then leave tn4 for like summer when i get a little bit dark summer when i get a little bit darker i'm just excited to try this on so let me take these swatches off and get to it so i'm gonna go ahead and prep my skin as you guys can see my brows are done um so just gonna go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna be using the Drock Elephant Retinol um, Cream, or yeah, Retinol Cream, uh, just to like, you know, a little skincare, a little something, something. Not that I'm going anywhere because it's literally late AF, but you know, 
I just like to apply this because my foundation, like usually my routine looks just so much better on my skin. Then I'm gonna go ahead with my favorite primer at the moment. Honestly, I think it was Jackie Ina that put me onto this. I was watching one of her videos and you know, she raves about it. It is the Farsali Blur Primer. I am so obsessed with it, you guys. I, it's so good, just so good. The only thing that I noticed though is that the pump doesn't really like work very well and I thought it was just mine but then my cousin also bought one and like it was kind of like effy what is wrong with my phone so I'm just kind of like you know you see like it works there oh it's working today hmm it's trying to embarrass me on camera no, it's not working anymore you see <laughs> I just love this primer. My foundation looks just so freaking flawless every time I use it. And she's a little pricey, but she's good. And it is that time of the month, you guys. So my skin is like, um, not bad, but you know, like I have a little something, something there. So let me try to like, hopefully this foundation can like cover it up and disappear it real quick. Now that my skin is prepped and ready to go, uh, I'm gonna go with the foundation. I'm using the TN3 again, just for reference to let you guys know. What I'm gonna do is, I don't think I told you guys, so they also came out with a brush. This is, I think it's a synthetic brush. I'm not very sure. But what's really cool about this brush is that it comes with like a, like a silicone thing in the middle where I was reading you're supposed to put the foundation there, put it on your skin, and then blend it with like the bristles. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I also, you guys know that I'm like a beauty blender, um, blender in general, like foundation type of girl. So I'm gonna do like half of my face with this and then half of my face with a sponge just to see like how it applies. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, lately I have been applying my foundation with a brush and I like it so much. I'm not gonna say better, but I just really like it because I feel like it gives me a little bit more of a coverage. But for today, we're gonna, you know, do like half and half just to like, pa ver como se ve la diferencia, me entiende? So I'm gonna put one pump because this foundation seems like, one pump I think it feels like it's a lot, but we'll see. I'm gonna go with the sponge and just see like how this applies. Oh, what is wrong with me? So I feel that with the Beauty Blender, it honestly didn't do absolutely nothing. So I'm honestly gonna go back with the brush and just like, do it again because Okay, so low key, I'm not sure how it looks on camera, but like I can make this foundation work, but I think I should have gone with TN4. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna apply a little bit of TN4 just to see like if it warms up a little bit, like my face. Cause I feel it's like a little too ghosty right now. So guys, correction, I would actually go with, if you like my complexion, I would go with TN4 instead of TN3. I feel like it's a little bit more warm and yellow, um, and I'm more on the warm side and the yellow side, so I would go with TN4. Um, just let me clarify that, because I know I started with TN3, but it was a little bit, just a little tiny bit too like light for me, so if you're like a little lighter than me, then you should probably go with that one. But the foundation is, I think it's called Love Your Selfie because I, it, it feels like skin, literally, on your face. And, you know, I have a, like a second head growing right there. So she's annoying right now. But other than that, like my skin looks really good. I did do like three pumps, maybe four, uh, for my whole face. Just because, you know, I do like a full coverage type of thing. But it looks really beautiful. Like... You know, she looking nice. And like I said, I'd rather go with a brush, obviously the one that, you know, 
they created to like work with this foundation then beat it up with a sponge i did not like the application with the sponge when i did it on this side of my face so yeah <laughs> but she looking cute she looking cute hey you guys sorry for the interruption but i totally forgot not forgot to mention i didn't know when i was filming the video that the foundation had an applicator inside which completely changes the game because it is so much easier to apply under your eyes or just like spot conceals for those days that you don't want to put like you know full-on foundation so this is awesome um i just wanted to let you guys know because like i missed it and that's kind of like an important thing to know about this foundation which changes you know a little bit and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and continue with the video now okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and take the like little bottles the concealers to you know like conceal and contour i'm not sure what shades i am yet but i'm gonna like kind of like wing it out um you guys know that i love using two different shades one to like uh give my skin a little bit more coverage and another one to like brighten so oh, let's see let's see okay so i'm actually going to take tg3 to like um conceal a little bit more and i'm going to take tn1 to brighten a little bit more um let's see so i'm gonna go first with tg3 it's real yellow y'all i think that's what the g stands for <laughs> i'm gonna take the beauty blender That was really pretty. Okay. And it blends so smoothly. And I like how like it was a little bit yellow. So it's like covering my like under eye darkness kind of thing. And now I'm going to go with a lighter shade, which is TN1. Might be really, really light, but I do like like a light. It's not even that light. Like I do like, like a really light under eye. So I go with like a really extra light concealer sometimes. But this is pretty good. Know that I don't apply concealer on my forehead. I stopped doing that in 2018. So <laughs> we're going to leave her there. I feel this because I, I have explained this before, but like I have such a small forehead that when I apply concealer, I just don't like how it looks. So I just, I just don't do it anymore. That is so pretty, you guys. I really actually love it as a concealer. I feel like I need a mirror. I need a close up. I need to see my under eyes a little closer. I really, really like it. It was so pretty. My eyes looks like so... I woke up like this type of thing, but I actually didn't. Um, love it, love it, love it. The darkest shade they sent over was DN3 and DN4, but it looks like DN4 is a little bit more like brown. DN3, I mean. So I'm going to take DN3 to contour. Um, it's not even that deep for me. You guys know that I love a deep contour. So I'll probably just make it darker with uh, powder. But let's see, let's see. You guys so what i'm going to do is do the rest of my face off camera actually because i don't want to be repetitive <laughs> um i do my face pretty much the same and use a lot of the same products just because i love them so much so i'm gonna go ahead and finish off the off camera and i will be right back with you guys to let you guys know like my final thoughts on the foundation and just a couple other things that i might have forgot to mention before um so yeah see you in like Two seconds okay you guys and we are back it is like three in the morning right now and i am so tired 
my, you know, collecting my thoughts about the foundation. I actually really like it. I think it's really pretty on the skin. I don't think it's completely full coverage to the point that's gonna like cover absolutely everything on your skin. Of course, I'm not talking about my second head right over here because she's not gonna be covered with anything, but I'm talking about like las manchas, you know, like the dark spots and stuff like that. I can still see a little bit like peeping through on my skin, especially on this side, I think. Um, not I think, like I can see it more on this side, but um, do I think if you have kind of like not perfect skin but like not so much imperfection the foundation can be for you definitely or if you know how to work it out like me I kind of give my skin a little bit more coverage with concealers then definitely but the foundation it's really really beautiful um I did get my perfect match which was TN4 I feel that for the winter, when the winter comes around and I get a little bit lighter again, I can probably go down to TN3, uh, but I really like, you know, the foundation and I think it works perfect with the brush. I actually liked it with the brush, with the, applying it with the brush better than applying it with a beauty blender because I felt with the beauty blender, it actually didn't do anything. Um, I also use the little bottles that they sent over for concealer and for the um, contour as you guys saw before. I actually really, really did like how it concealed. I have no under eye like streaks or what's it called? I think it's so late that I can't even like remember the words right now. I really like how it applied under my eyes. It was really smooth and really nice to like blend out. And for contour, I just think I needed like a little bit like a darker color because that's just me. But it also applied really nice for like, I, I can see myself using that like contour for like light contour. Like I'm not going anywhere like fancy. Just want to do a, like a little some something. I can totally do that. Um, know that pure cosmetics is inside of Ulta so you guys can go ahead and like swatch it and you know before you actually purchase it but I'm really excited you know this is like the beginning of a good thing for brands out there to see like you know you don't have to come out with like 15 shades kind of thing you can do better than that so yeah uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the little bell so that you guys are notified whenever I upload a video and if you guys want to see more of my face and hear more of my voice you guys can follow me on my Instagram Kilani K Twitter is Kilani K and I don't really post on Snapchat, but if you guys want to follow me out there, you know, once in a while I do post. It's also, well, it's not also, it's makeup K underscore 24, I think. That's how bad I don't use Snapchat that I don't even know. But just go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I always have random giveaways over there. And yeah, I just want to see you guys, you know, come talk to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys. I am so tired, but this lip combo though, <laughs> honey. Yeah.